My mom it banks for Jose Canseco. Should I be concerned about her safety? No, I mean... Oh, okay, great strikeout, great strikeout. I don't think he's a risk to do anything to your mom. Especially because apparently he has a vested interest in their working relationship because she does his banking. I don't think it's fair to say that dude's mom is definitely getting piped by Jose Canseco. She's, she's just his banker. Like, I, I'm imagining he probably... You need to go outside, like, more often. Like, that's just not realistic. I'm not saying they couldn't be, but I'm just saying I wouldn't assume that that's the most likely situation. Usher? Yeah, okay, she's probably getting piped down by Usher. Now, quiet up and sit down. Wait, scratch that. Reverse it. Did you see the trailer for, Won for Wonka, dude? It got me so good. I, I, I have less than nothing against Timothy Chalamet. I actually think that Timothy Chalamet is a good actor who has chosen great roles. His ass should not be in Wonka. There shouldn't be a Wonka movie, man. Maybe it'll be amazing, I don't know. Even if it's good, it sucks, as far as I'm concerned. Because it's just, I don't want to see Willy Wonka fucking be dejected or so. Like, you know what the most cringeworthy moment in, Willy Wonka, in the Wonka trailer was for me? Was when he said, this one's for you, mom. So the fucking story is like, oh, Willy Wonka's dad walked out at him and he's a little crazy. So his mom became like his best friend, like some Jojo Rabbit shit. No, he's crazy. That's Willy Wonka. He's just insane. He, he shows up on Earth fully formed in his purple suit like a Cormac McCarthy character. The chocolate factory was never built. It, it's merely existed since time immemorial. He exists only within the confines of the book and the movie, and that's it. There's no, he was never born, he never dies. There is no Willy Wonka, and there has always been a Willy Wonka. I don't need to see Willy Wonka fucking... He gets, so some bully kicks sand in his face and says, Why don't you go make chocolate, you nerd? And then that becomes like his whole life story. Like, it just, it's not necessary. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It's not, we don't need it. Do we really need the Oompa Loompa lore? I know! And then I was like, I bet they're not going to deal with the Oompa Loompa question. Then, no, never mind. Hugh Grant is an Oompa Loompa, it turns out. And he says something cute at the end of the trailer. Like, you know, uh, you can't stop me once I started dancing. It's kind of our thing. I don't care if it gets a 90 on Rotten Tomatoes and a 71 on Metacritic. I, it's, I'm never going to watch it. Unless my mom wants to watch it with me. And then I'll grin and bear it. Because my mom read me a lot of Roald Dahl books as a kid. I think the movie's going to suck, but if it, if it brings her something to watch it with me, if it briefly makes her f feel like I'm six years old again, then I would, I would do that for my mom, of course. Kind of the way that Jose Canseco's doing that other guy's mom. <laughs> I guess the thing is, I don't want to be inspired by Willy Wonka. Because in the... It's weird... Because Wonka is villainous. I know it sounds like... If you don't watch the movie critically... I'm not saying you got to recut the first movie so it's a horror movie. The point is, it straddles that roll dolly in line between like the macabre and the, the nightmarish and the whimsical and the... Bunch of kids die or almost die in the factory. And then we're going to see the, the chocolate cartel didn't want Willy Wonka to succeed. Isn't it inspirational how Willy Wonka uh, takes out the chocolate cartel and lives his dreams? Brother! He's got a bunch of Oompa Loompas working for him in his factory. He, uh, a bunch of kids come to his factory and, and suffer grievous injuries. Like, there's, there's a lot of problems here. This pisses me off, man. Or maybe the movie is more intelligent, but the trailer is not. Maybe the movie will be like, he's a bad person. But I don't want that either, because he's not a bad person. He's an alien. Willy Wonka's an alien from outer space. He landed here. He, was, he didn't have a childhood. He's a being. He's like Pennywise. Ooh. Is that lore or real? It's lore. Well, it's, <laughs> I made it up. 